Hello, welcome to uh, another episode of Weekly Wisdom with, with, with me, with Bartosz Guralewicz. Today I wanted to uh, explain and briefly touch on uh, the concept of real user metrics and how they changed how we measure performance in 2019 and beyond. Real user metrics are basically the opposite of the load time and how we measure that for years in the SEO and web performance community. Basically, if we compare page load, like load time from, for example, GT metrics, it doesn't really reflect and real user experience anymore. So let me give you an example. If you wanna, if you wanna play with that, uh, take the one of the fastest websites out there, like The Guardian. Look at the performance of The Guardian in GT metrics, and compare that with how you perceive that performance on your uh, even like a slower mobile with uh, with low end CPU or your laptop, you will see a massive difference between uh, that experience you had, like real user experience, and the metrics you get from a, a tool set like GT Metrics. This is where real user metrics, RAM in short, actually come in and play a very very important role in how web development evolves in uh, in 2019 and beyond real user metrics actually divide your loading your website loading experience into stages uh, into different stages that actually allow uh, both search engines when evaluating your web performance and users uh, see different moments of uh, of when your website loads and when you can actually interact uh, with a website or when you actually can receive the information you're, you're looking at let me give you an example. One of my favorite examples is when you're looking for the weather, let's say you're looking for the weather in London tomorrow. When you open any website, uh, obviously you can get that data directly from Google now, but you, when you open a website, your favorite uh, weather website like accuweather.com, the only information that's actually valuable for you is the weather in London tomorrow. This is actually a massive difference between when the website is fully loaded and when you actually got the information that you care about the most. So in this scenario, the metric you're looking at is called, as an example, uh, first meaningful paint. So you're looking at, uh, for first meaningful paint, meaning that in, in our example of AccuWeather, this is gonna be the weather in London tomorrow, plus if it's gonna like rain, what, how many like the degrees, like if it's gonna be like 20 degrees weather, or if you're like, in, in states like Fahrenheit uh, or whatever. So this is gonna be what you're looking for at that website. And here comes the tricky part because this, actually, this metric is very difficult to measure on scale. So first meaningful paint is different for each website. So if you're looking for the weather, this is fairly simple. You're looking for it, like the degrees and if it's gonna rain or not. But if you're going to like giphy.com, uh, you're gonna want to see different GIFs that you can choose from. Uh, so that's gonna be your meaningful paint, the GIFs you're, you're, you're looking at. But if you're looking to, uh, for an article, for example, at The Guardian, the most important part of the website you're looking for and to be loaded is the title of the website. Just to simplify that, there is a difference between the load time and real user metrics. In this example, the load time basically checks how fast the whole website is going to load but throughout how web development change and because we serve some of the elements of the website sooner now we're looking at the real user metrics i won't go in depth into different uh, metrics you can you can measure two most important ones are first meaningful paint that again is very difficult to measure on scale and the new metric that's just uh, evolving recently is the largest contentful pain. Just look at these two. You can get them from Chrome user experience report, Crux. I will link to that here in the video and play with that and I will get deeper into the topic in my next, uh, next video. Thank you so much and stay tuned for more weekly wisdom.